plaintiff, Carmelita Medina, dated the defendant, and she claims he was an abusive drug addict. Carmelita says the defendant assaulted her multiple times, once when she was pregnant, and as a result, she had him arrested. Carmelita is suing her ex for a child support refund and emotional distress. Defendant Christopher Patterson claims Carmelita is lying about the assault, and he insists all of the cases against him were dropped. Christopher says he's been the primary caregiver for his daughter for years because Carmelita wanted to party instead of being a mother, and he's countersuing for pain and suffering. Start with you. Okay, uh, Chris is my ex-abusive, uh, drug-addicted uh, ex-boyfriend. Um, we started dating in June of 2007, and it didn't start getting violent until around, uh, when I found out I was pregnant, that was in September of 2008. Uh, one instance was when I was seven months pregnant, it was in April of 2009. Uh, Chris picked me up from work, and he began, when I got in the car, he just began hitting me. And it continued until we got to his mother's house, in which uh, he, we went in the house, we were fighting then, and he locked me in a room and left with my car. But he claimed the reason was? No, he was drunk. He didn't claim so, that well, he, he, he didn't make up something He was belligerent, mind. and it was going on and on about something his mother told him right. that uh, I have no idea what it was about. So mm -hmm. uh, his mother actually let me out of the room. I called my sister. She took me around the corner to the police station. I filed a police report. He was arrested the next day. Uh, they admitted me into the hospital to watch me since I was pregnant. And from then, I had got a restraining order against him. So we, were, we separated for a little bit. Then we eventually got back together. Then in September... What happened with the police? What happened with the... Uh, well, he, he went to court, and I went to the first court uh, hearing. He pled not guilty, and I do know that they ordered him to some classes. I don't know what happened after that because I didn't go back to court after that. Then in September of 2009, uh, again, he was drunk, and we got into another uh, fight, and he went to go swing a bottle at my head, and I blocked it, in which he broke fingers on both of my hands. So I had surgery for that, and I had casts on both of my hands. Police. So I went to the police again. Uh, he got arrested. Uh, again, another police report was filed, uh, another restraining order against him. And uh, again, due to stupidity, I went back. And no, what happened with the police? I didn't uh, press any charges. So uh, we again tried to work it out. And the, the, we finally broke up. It was in December of 2011. So then in January... Why did you break up that time? It was, it just began, it just got too much. I got tired of the fighting yeah. and the abuse. So he was addicted to what type of drug? Um, he would do uh, pills. He was on pain pills, uh, other things to get him off of pain pills, as well as cocaine. He would sniff here and there. Um, then for January of 2011, uh, when, I, when I finally did leave, uh, January 2012, I'm sorry, um, I went to get my daughter from him. He was drunk. So I came back with the police. What do you mean get him, get your daughter from Well, when him? I left in December, he wouldn't let me take my daughter with, with me. It was the end of December, so... Did you call the police then? Yes, but they told me that it was a family mm -hmm. issue. Custody issue. Right, so I had to take it to family court. So I immediately went, because it was the weekend, I went mm -hmm. that Monday and went to the judge. I got an immediate order for custody. Mm -hmm. And we went back to, with, I went back with the police and child protection got involved because he was drunk and mm -hmm. had her in the house with him. So they granted me sole custody, and he eventually got supervised visits. Mm -hmm. So, and it was, I believe, in May of 2014, we got joint custody. No, I'm sorry, October of 2004. We just got joint custody. No, so, of what? 2014? October of 2014, right. And I recently just got married in May. So mm -hmm. after that, it became a problem when I would go and pick up my daughter. There was no day specified in the previous order. It was just any day that about, we agreed upon. About visitation. Right. Mm -hmm. So it was just, it just said 24 hour notice and mm -hmm. any days that we agreed upon. Mm -hmm. So at that point we had verbally agreed to split the weeks. Getting to the current custody order, it was, I have heard from Thursday mornings until Sunday Still evening. joint custody. Right, still uh -huh. joint custody. And it also said in there that he couldn't relocate, he couldn't leave out of the state without notifying the courts two weeks ahead of time for vacations or anything. Okay. So during that uh, process, it also had in there that I was able to take her because we were planning a family vacation to Disney World in July, mm -hmm. in which I did. During that time that I was gone, uh, that's when Mr. Patterson went to 
uh, the courts and filed for uh, for uh, so child custody. support. No, he filed oh, for child, child support. And he was granted a temporary order, but I wasn't at the court date. Because I, I was out of town. That was in July. July? Right. Mm -hmm. So that's what brings us here today because from that, they started garnishing my paychecks and taking any income that I had to pay to Mr. Patterson. How on, much did uh, you pay? It was awarded him $100 a week. How much have you paid? Uh, $1,582. All right. And fifty two dollars. All sorry. right. I'll get back to you. Let me allow him to give some background, sir. OK, sir. Um, I was with her uh, in 2007. I was, we stayed together about seven years. Um, the whole time that we were together, I was the primary caretaker of my daughter. She was a party girl. She But you lived together. Though, yes, right? we lived together for two of those like seven years. She was a party girl. Got her. This is the type of stuff she liked to do. I got pictures and there's more, but I didn't think they were appropriate for the court. That's that's the Yeah, you don't know whether they were or not, don't you? <laughs> Choose what I'm gonna see. Uh, all right, uh -oh. so you're showing that she wore sexy outfits when she went out. Big deal. That's how the relationship was. She was cheating. I was at home taking care of the baby. All the, you, you caught know. her cheating? Yes. Yes, I did. Describe that. that, since she described all the... And we're going to um, get to whether was, you want to defend these assaults. But what is it you want to say she did to you? Uh, she had uh, other boyfriends that, you know, I would see text messages and, you know, I would catch her cheating and stuff like that. Give me another catch other than text messages. Text messages. I've seen her out with, with okay. people before. All right. You know, just things like people tell, okay. told me things. Mm -hmm. a, a guy called me, called me before, you know, threatening me, talking stuff. And, is that um, true? No, that is not. making yet. all that up. Yes, Every he is. single thing. Yes, yes. Good enough. I, you said he's making okay. every single thing up. That's okay. enough. Do you want to respond to the assaults? Oh, the assaults? She made all that stuff up, sir, because I, I wouldn't let her see the baby, and I'm going to get to that. Be because because when we parted ways, were you I ever convicted of any of these? No, things? all of that mm -hmm. charges were dropped because it, it it didn't add up. Okay. And um, <laughs> I wouldn't let her see see the baby. That's when she would get crazy, or she would accuse me. I was working and going to school a lot. She would accuse me of cheating and stuff like that, and she would get violent with me. You were going to what type of school? Uh, college. I was going to college. So I was the primary caretaker of my of my daughter for for her whole life until. I decided to move to um, Florida to better my child's life. I had finished school. When you say primary, you all didn't share sole custody, as she says? On paperwork, yes. She says you all went to court for custody yes. and they gave her sole custody. They, they didn't give her sole custody. I agreed to... Why? Th there was a, um, a law guardian. A there, what? There was a law guardian involved in the case. Uh -huh. They kept it going on and on and on mm -hmm. for like a few months. Uh -huh. So me and her had a conversation where I would agree to, to, for her to have um, the custody of the child, but she would give her back to me, which she did after court. And I have proof of that right here. Letters from the school that they only dealt with me. Letters from the doctor that they only dealt with me. It was only up until last year that she even knew what school. See him? Till she knew what school that the baby went to. Mm. Last, last year, she did, before that, she didn't even know what school that the baby went to. So, me, I decided to move to Florida. I got some job offers, and she was okay with it at first. She met this guy that's sitting right here that she known for all about two weeks and married the guy. And she knew him for two weeks and married him. Then, all of a sudden, she want to be Mary Poppins and, and be mother of the year, so she go to court and they make me and my daughter move back here. When is that? In June of yeah. uh, 2015. Yeah, the court has to give you permission to leave, uh, to move right, But she wasn't, she state. wasn't, a, Your Honor, for three, four years, she was seeing the baby. On paper, sir. No, it's it's yeah, all about what it, the paper But I'm, just, I'm telling you the, the truth, I the got real story. You, but that that, that she, doesn't overcome the law, sir. That's, the law is in the paperwork, and right, the law says right. you can't take a child out of state if you're joint custody. <laughs> Now, the child support, sir, what do you want to tell me about Okay, Okay, um, so when the courts make me move back here from Florida, mm -hmm. my lawyer said, well, you should have been getting support for all this time. So just t take her and get support. So that's what I did. Anybody have the order? They, they, they said she didn't have to pay 
right now why we went to court because we are in proceedings for custody of the child. So the judge told me to come back. And ma'am, what are you suing for? What dates are you suing for child support? Uh, they started taking child support as of August 6th uh -huh. up until... Show September me something 20th. where they said you can have it refunded. Well, what they said... With the no, judge, show me, show me, show me. I'm saying that they said that the order was dismissed. That doesn't mean give me your was, money back. Okay, well, um, this, this is the... This your is, pain and suffering, how does she owe you for that? My whole house is in Florida. I lost two good jobs, which, two good, two good jobs because I was forced to come back here. Two good jobs that I went, went to college for. She's suing me for child support like a, that, that a judge made her pay. No. What, like, what if everybody who been ordered to pay child support come to your courtroom trying to get it back, judge? No. You would be here 24-7. No, your honor, can I say why that I am suing for the child support since Chris is... You've already said it. No, I, I didn't understand like it for the child you support. You speak through the orders. And your well, order said nothing about you getting the money back for what you already paid. I do believe you probably trumped up these charges and all the other things yeah, that have, he was I held for. You said everything. he was convicted. Do you have that? You said he was I convicted said, of the first one. Do you have that? I said that? I went to court for the yeah, first Yeah, and can, you said and he pled not I guilty, have, but... He oh. had to go through a program. You don't go through a program he has unless a program. you're guilty. A judge can't order you to do okay, nothing. Well, I also said no I didn't program go after unless the first, you're guilty. I didn't go after Your the first claim court for five thousand is granted for pain and suffering. Yours is dismissed. Yours is dismissed. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't believe he just... That's all I want. I just want her to get the help she needs. I can't believe yeah, he just wants And if I can't. that's her husband, if he love her, he'll oh get her God. the help don't, she needs. Don't need. address him. Because she lies. Oh, oh, she lies. You're a woman. She lies. 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 She